What's going on everybody? Hey, Ryan here and welcome back to Pan Nerdia. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, start unboxing some stuff for you guys and show you what I what I hauled out. Um, so before I get to the actual uh, toys and stuff, I'm gonna show you guys the art I picked up. So um, there's awesome art there all around the convention. Um, but you know what? I was right next to these two and they were so cool and as well as um, Kai behind me, uh, you know, with Nala to the right. Desmond to the left, Kai behind me. I was I was surrounded with some awesome people, so I wanted to show them how much I appreciated them. Plus, their art is amazing, so um, I'll show you guys what I got from them. All right, so first off, from Nala, some sweet stuff. So of course I had to pick these up because they're too funny and too awesome to pass up. Um, I mean, they're good-looking Rock and Vegeta stickers, and he's about the Bang Bulma, that's for sure. Taking his gloves off. Um, you got a Majin variant as well. They're holographic, so that's freaking sweet. Um, she's awesome. She actually just gave these to me. Um, pretty rad for that. Um, I had to buy... That's like one of the closest things she had to what she really does. She didn't bring any of her super lewd things because, you know, there was some kind of policy against it. But uh, she, you know, I had to pick them up. It's just too much. And then, of course, she has... The sweet 5x7 postcard she did, which is amazing, of Broly and uh, Gogeta. And, um, yo, yo, what up, Domino? And I had to um, get this as well. I got her, And I had her sign it, because I was like, you know what, not a lot, I need you to sign that for me, please. So I had her sign that up, uh, which is amazing. She's such an amazing artist. She's so nice. Go check her out on Twitter. If I mean, you should have already seen her. She's amazing. But uh, go check her out on Twitter if you haven't. Um, Nala1588. She's and she was an awesome uh, booth neighbor and couldn't ask for a better one. That's for sure. And then the next booth guy, uh, Desmond or D Will's or no D Will Art over on Instagram. I don't think he has a Twitter. Um, this dude was uh, an amazing draftsman illustrator, right? That has the He's just super high detailed and draws super realistically. He does the, just his pencil drawings and makes prints of them, but he prints them on amazing paper. And I had to get a copy of this sweet Roshi to hang in the office. So check this out, dude. Yeah, bro. Let me get this camera out of the way so you can see it. And look at the detail this guy puts into his stuff. Yeah, it's amazing, needless to say. It's totally amazing. Um, D. Will Arts. Um, D. Will's Arts. Go check him out. Um, it's amazing. His stuff is rad. And I had to get it set something for the office. So those dudes, they were all... Oh, yeah, and then Kai. Um, so Kai, she was an amazing artist, too. I ended up picking up some of her, her um, badge collection. Let's see if you guys can see these. See these little Dragon Ball badges? Well, they're really cool. There's seven of them. And I even got the four star one pressed into my hat. Um, got those from her. She's awesome as well. Whoops. I'm gonna go ahead and open the four of these I have. These mystery figures, these mystery minis. You guys know I like my mystery minis. It's like kind of uh, pulling like some Dokkan cards or some along those lines where, you know, you're looking for, you're just collecting them. I like collecting the mysteries. You never know what's inside. Um, and you could get a rare one. So I got four of those. I made a trade with somebody. Um, so let's go ahead and check them out, shall we? I got a nice pool tab at the top. Go ahead and rip that open. Ooh, that was satisfying. See, they're just satisfying to do. And... Who do we have? Ooh, a Trunks. Trunks can... Oh, I got a little stand with them. Get his little stand out. Let me pop them on here for you so you can check them out. Here we go. Whoops. There you go. Got a little 
little trunks. Nothing too crazy, little dude, little simple trunks, but hey, you go with the rest of my little minifigures I have. You know, they're gonna be the basis of when I get my, my big, big figures. And, oh, trust me when I say I have a few to show you guys, or a couple. All right, next pack. Shh. Again, guys, I just wanted to make this live stream tonight. I got, I have to start compiling, compiling the bl uh, vlog tonight. And, uh, I need some time to do that. Yeah, when I got home last night, I crashed hard AF. Oh, ho, 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 look at that. I got Vegito. Oh, whoops, I threw the stand on the ground, I think. I was so excited when I uh, saw who it was. That was hotter than fucking. It's hotter than a motherfucker in my place. Uh, I got back yesterday. Yesterday at like 2.30 in the afternoon. Um, and yeah, man, that 10 hour drive, that's rough. But I was exhausted, man. I crashed when I got back in town. I got crashed hard, like, got into super chill mode, and I was sleeping by like 9.30. And it, I don't go to bed usually until like midnight, yo. Check that out. So that's a cool little Vegito minifigure. I bet he's one of the more rare ones in there. Sweet. I'll take it. What's up with his hand? He's got like a little st thing on his hand. That's weird. Um, okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Let's go about this next one, shall we? All right, this one. He is, oh, she is Android 18. She, she, <laughs> she kind of looks wacky um, with her eyes. Oh no, they gave, they gave her eyebrows. They don't give the same dude's eyebrows. Yeah, they don't. So I was thinking, I looked down and I was like, yeah, she doesn't have eyebrows. That's kind of weird. But, uh, she, uh, she does. I think that works better because now she actually looks a little bit better at least. Without the eyebrows, she looks a little scary. Put it that way. Okay, she was a little harder to get in that thing. There she is. Look at little Android 18. Oh, she's so cute. Right. Okay. Boom. Last of these mini figures, here guys. Wow. And it is, ooh, Ultimate Gohan. More like Ultimate Goham. Oh shit. Hey Dom, I can't wait for you to see the uh, the vlog, bro. You get to check out everything. I know you've been keeping up on Instagram. Cool. This ultimate go on is the coolest one, I think. I mean, even more of a Vegito, because those black eyes are kind of wicked on him. Sweet. Right on. I'll take them. So, first up, this is gonna look really good in my office. Gogeta Blue Ultimate Soldiers. Look at that, dude. So it's part of this. It's got some a sweet box art too. Start as part of the set with Broly, Goku, Vegeta, and Gogeta. There's Broly's there. Yeah, dude. So we gotta open this up. All right, let's pop her open. And yes, I am opening it up because. I want this figure to be out. I want people to see it. And I want it on my shelf, damn it. So that's what we're doing here. We're gonna open it up and see what's inside. So I think they had a few on display, but I wasn't even trying to pay attention. It was nice though, it was right across from my booth. So I was pretty much tempted the whole convention. You know? First, okay, I'm gonna say, I am gonna save these boxes for the night. Oh, it comes with a sweet stand, so that's awesome. I'll have to open that up in a second. 
Character comes in a nice box here. Which being is stronger? I'm sensing a Gogeta versus Vegito vibe. You're close. I really did want a Vegito, but I don't think they had Vegito. Okay, so he does come in two parts. That's funny. Um, that's good though. Let's put them together. So I kind of already gave it away. It's not Vegito. As much as I wanted the other one to be Vegito. Oh, this is gonna be cool, man. It's already fucking badass. But I did use that being why I said that's so weird because of this Gogeta here, that's for sure. But the other one, I think he is, in the, is stronger in general. Okay, let me snap his body on here. Oh, man, this is really good. Uh, let me pop open this stand, too. Oh, man. Oh, I want to show you now, but I'm just, just going to keep you in suspense for a second as I get this op this uh, stand and thing open. Sand's pretty cool. Check that out. It's got, like, uh, you know, figures kind of, in, like, you know, pressed into it. Wow. Okay, you guys ready? Check it. Oh, man. Look at that, dudes. Wow. I mean, look at the detail. That is amazing. Oh yeah, that's what's up. I had to get a Gogeta Blue. I really, really wanted a Vegito Blue too. And if I would've saw the Vegito Blue, I would've got him over this next guy. But the next guy is too badass to pass up too. Let's make sure it's in there better. Um, but all in all, this is a great figure. Wow. Yeah, this is amazing. I cannot wait to put this up. Yeah, I dig it. That is baller. I don't even know where to set him right now. Whoa. <laughs> He'll go on the shelf soon, but for now. Oh, wow. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right. Let me take a sip here. All right. You guys ready for this next one? Are you ready to see the next purchase this is an amazing one as well and i'm really very very happy with it before i show it though domino says all this stuff is so cool i really wish i got to go but school wouldn't have would have interfered the location wasn't best for me dude it'll probably go uh you know around the country eventually it'll probably keep going to texas though but hey man eventually you'll you will be able to go to kamehakan I think it'll be one of your favorite weekends of your life, bro. That's how much fun I think you'd have. Hey, man, you never know. Before you know it, by like Kamehakan 4 or something, maybe you can come, you know, work the, my booth with me. I do plan on making my booth bigger each year. And you can come help work the booth. That means you'd pretty much get to go for free. And that'd be pretty tight. Oh, I didn't even show you guys what I'm opening yet. Um, here, before I pop the last tab, let me show you. Here it is. You guys ready? Ultra Instinct. Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku. I had to get it. I know they're both super characters, but they're so badass looking, man. I had to do it. All right, ready, guys? This is sweet. So, Kamehakan 3? Yeah, bro. Let's do it. There's a really good chance that I can go in two years because that'll be in college. Oh, well then, yeah. that's I think that, that'd be Kamehakan 4. Because this was Kamehakan 2. But hey, Kamehakan 4, bro. I'll have a nice big booth and you'll definitely be able to come down, bro. Check that out, man. Wow. That is dope. 
You can't beat that. Look at those sick ass back muscles. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy with that for sure. So this is why I was saying there could be an argument on which being is stronger. Many would say MUI is always going to be stronger, even than Fusion. But I don't know what you guys think. I mean, you saw Brawly. Gogeta's pretty badass in blue form. Some say he's a better Fusion than Vegito. But I think MUI ultimately is the strongest. And why they didn't bring him into the movie, because he would have been too OP. But yeah, really dope, guys. I mean, check out the detail in that. It's amazing. Very, very happy with those purchases. Happy with all the other art I got. I'm very happy with my, uh, you know, the way I handled it and the way uh, my cousins helped me out. You know, they really helped make this weekend possible um, and be as successful as it was. Yeah, my art, it could have sold itself, but they were there to seal the deal and to be my support and to keep me calm and to keep me confident. And I had great booth neighbors to help out too. Awesome experience and I can't wait. Um, by the way guys, uh, my commissions are open. Uh, I announced that today on Twitter. It was uh, going on all weekend at Command Con. I had commission cards uh, made up. But uh, commissions are open for acrylic paintings. Um, I'll paint any size really. Um, but if you're looking for the, the lowdown here, um, it's going to be $5 per linear inch. A linear inch is just the uh, width and height added together. Um, and then you multiply by that $5 per linear inch. So, for example, a 2x3 foot painting or a 24 by 36 inch painting is going to run you about 300 bucks, uh, plus the supplies, which includes the price of the canvas um, and, uh, you know, paint used. Um, I will be streaming those. Um, and uh, as well, so you'll get to see the process of it painted. Um, as far as shipping it out, though, I'll take care of those costs for you. But if you guys uh, have any inquiries or you want to uh, just, you know, ask me some questions about it, feel free to either DM me at Twitter, um, uh, at PanNerdy on Twitter. Uh, you guys can DM me over on the PanNerdy Instagram, um, but also PanNerdia um, at gmail.com as well.